He said, I'm going too fast. I've been moving in slow-mo. So he, so he moving so fast that he feel like he moving in slow-mo like the Matrix right now. Bring this back. Okay, So we keep the spitters. Okay. Synapses fire and burst. Got the whole crew with me. About to do damage. You know we ain't average. This is dope. Okay, what is this going on? I don't know, but this is dope. What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest. You said Tutmos. Tutmos, yeah. King Thut, that's what they call me. And he's here. Tutmos, what's up? Right, guys, we've got Tutmos in the building. Hey, hey. The one and only Tutmos is in the building with us here. Mm -hmm. Yo. You guys are our dogs. What's up, man? Come in. Come in. Yeah. Cool, cool. Come in. Come in. Oh, yeah. How are you guys doing? Great. Yeah. Yeah. How are you guys doing? We're good. Very good. Lots of work. Here we have. I'm trying to cook up right now. I'm trying to get a little inspiration for it out in the studio. Yo, they got some crazy bikes out here. Like, just that, just that action bike. Just, you know that guy's in there, that bald guy's in every action movie? That's the shit he be riding. Jason Statham? Uh huh. Jason Statham? Yeah, I think that's the name. He's like UK accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit. Like, he was in Fast and Furious, but he was like the villain. Yeah, Jason Statham, yeah. The young one. Such a girl, you got me falling, oh baby. First thing in the morning, put my rolling on before I hit me on. First thing in the morning, put my rolling on before I hit me on. I was in the back, yeah, I came here for mines. Go to Paris, London, then in Milan. Got the big flex, running to New York like this set. But a nigga tryna play me, got a couple hit the spray, so you better watch your mouth when you speak back. <laughs> How you doing, my brother? Hello, man. Hello. How you doing? He's my guest, so yeah. that's the only guest yeah. here. Anyway, we're starting off the show a little bit differently today because I've got a special guest all the way from the United States of America. What was the inspiration behind the EP? I mean, for me, um, I mean, this is like subjects I like to write on, just try to like get some emotional content out there, you know? Yeah. Like, talk to people directly and hit hit a side of them that a lot of people didn't necessarily talk to. Check it out the story as well. I saw that you born in Nigeria, mm -hmm. Lagos. Yes. Or grew up in New York. Mm -hmm. How young were you or how old were you when mm -hmm. you moved out? I was I was eight years old when I moved from Nigeria to New York. I was born in Jabu in, in Nigeria. God. But that's it. <laughs> and then I moved to Lagos, which where I was raised um, primarily. Yeah. And then I moved to New York after that. And uh, when I was eight years old. So and I've been there, I've been in New York since the last 16, 17 years. So, yeah. yeah. Wow, 16, 17 years. And you said something interesting as well. Mm -hmm. You haven't been back home since then. Exactly. I haven't been back home since since I left in 2003. So I'm I'm hoping I'm trying to go back for in December this year so Listen, hopefully you know yeah. like everybody's showing a lot of love to them you're gonna love yeah, that yeah, man I'm, I'm gonna you're gonna incorporate some of the Nigerian style into music yeah for sure I mean I've, I've I've been doing that for like years I have some early songs that's just like okay straight. me talking with my like full out accent like just crazy stuff but Every, can you speak what do you speak oh, you're about, you're about. yeah fluently yeah I wouldn't say fluently but I, I can understand it pretty well <laughs> but I, I can speak it back pretty pretty good enough yeah. I wouldn't say fluently I'm not you know but you know, yeah, I still have that part of me. So it's like, it's part of me, people haven't even seen it, but it's kind of cool. Oh. Just like, being able, you know, at the same time, still being born in Brooklyn, you know, and then having that culture, R&B flavor, and then rap, and just like the aggressive nature of Brooklyn, you know. With, with, with you saying that, what was the great breakthrough for you in, in terms of your music? When did you decide that music is what you want to do? Um, I think I decided like my first year in college and um, I used to stay up to like 5 a.m. in the morning losing sleep, just obsessing over like uh, Alfred State in New York, it was a, for, for, for computer science. I ended up leaving school and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give myself like a year or two and I'm gonna really put it in my all and I'm gonna write some songs and then if it's meant to be, I'm gonna see some signs and like, you know, along the way, you know, some signs were there. Well, thank you for coming on the thank show. You, you. Shout out to my brother for coming to town! Thanks for coming, man. Shout out to my Oh, anytime. Thank you, anytime. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Thetmos here. You know, my last day in Paris. I've been having a lot of fun. You know, I come check out the Louvre. I've been talking about it a lot. So it finally feels dope to be here. Feeling the vibe. Keep you guys to the atmosphere. I'm just in a little small part of the area. I'm about to check it out. I'm excited to be here. Don't me out now. Love and morning featuring Rima going crazy. 
Yo, it's about to be a movie. Keep streaming, keep showing hella love. I appreciate you guys. Bad Boy Gang, Thuck Mo's Gang, much love. Big vibes, yeah.